we are discussing limits of functions and in this this is part two in the part first we have discussed already the definitions now we will go through the some theorems related to limits of functions which are will be very useful to us so let's start uh, first thing is the uniqueness theorem as the name suggests it says if the limit of a function exists at a point then it will be unique it means i can say i have a function and I want to find the limit at x tends to a in one case it becomes L and in another case at the same point the same function it gives m this is not a possibility next if limit of a function fx is L at a point x equals to a or I can write it as f of x and the limit x tends to a it is L then the function fx is bounded on some deleted neighborhood of a point so what is this deleted neighborhood if you have a point and you draw a neighborhood of this point and you delete the point from the neighborhood delete the point from neighborhood then this will be called the deleted neighborhood next uh, some algebraic theorems related to limits so if you have the limits of sum of two function or the difference of two function we will just separate the limits similarly same is the case in the multiplication the multiplication of two functions and the limit we are supposed to find we can find the limits separately and then we will multiply them same is with the differentiation but the denominator as always it should not be equals to zero next we have some other theorems if you have two functions f and g they are defined on the deleted neighborhood and in every time in the domain the function f is greater than or equal to the function gx as you can see it here then what will happen if the function is greater than the limit will also be greater than the other function limit you know so if i am saying it fx is greater than or equals to gx this implies that the limit of the first function will also be greater than the limit of the second function next theorem is sandwich theorem as we know we in the sandwich we have two breads and inside the bread we have some stuff so this is used here if you have function f g and h such that f is greater than or equal to g and g is greater than or equal to h for all the values of domain as it is given in here then what will happen then the limits if the first limit is equals to l second limit is also equals to l as mentioned here then we can say that the middle limit will also be equals to l this is called the sandwich theorem now let's look at some formulas very basic limits which we many times use in the questions which make our work easy so the first one is uh, be careful about the limits which is mentioned here it here it is extends to infinite z 1 plus 1 by x to the power x or you can replace the x by minus x but the limit should be infinity then the answer will always be e next is now the limit is x tends to 0 and the function is 1 plus x to the power 1 by x then again the answer will be e now there is a more generalized form for this infinite limit which is this limit 1 x tends to infinity 1 plus y by x to the power x or this thing then the answer will be e to the power y this is the general form now next one is log 1 plus x by x again the limit tends to 0 the answer will be 1 next log a x tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 divided by x this goes to this and the last one x to the power p minus a to the power p divided by x minus a where limit approaches to x to a then the answer will be p a to the power p minus 1 and the last and easier one sin x divided by x equals to 1 so how can you do that if you don't remember uh, these formulas like this one this one this one and this one where there is a division we can use the L'Hopital rule as we all know it the L'Hopital rule or L hospital rule we can use this formula to find the limits but these are the important ones these are important ones so please do remember these they are uh, they occur very often in the question paper so you can get these pdf notes from the google classroom and there's a complete playlist for real analysis and you can join us on telegram please like comment and subscribe on the channel uh, thank you very much for joining bye tata